Hey guys, it's Noah here with Custom RC Mods. Welcome back to a new video, and this has been a highly anticipated build. Um, it's the FT Mini Mustang. As you know, I like to go fast. I like my Warbirds. I have the P51 Mustang up here. I'm going to try to do something similar that, um, to what I did with the Scout. I did the uh, simple Scout first, and then the Mini Scout after that. So hopefully we can make this a pretty accurately scaled down version um, with the same livery, things like that, um, as the bigger P51 Mustang. But I like to go fast, as you know, so uh, this thing can hit you know 70 miles per hour on a three cell, four cell uh, setup, especially with the big motor and prop I'm going to put in it. Um, so hopefully it should be a good time. Let's go ahead and just run through it. Of course, I've got these tile plans right here. Um, a single sheet of foam. It says you need two, but I think I can get away with one and some scraps. I have some of those I need to use up. Um, now for my power system, we've got a pretty standard 2207S, 2100 kV motor from Sunny Sky. I'm running this and the ZTW Beatles 30 amp ESC. This same exact setup is found on the FT Vector, FT Goblin, and the FT or the custom RC mods Walmart wing video that I did I use this as well um, so it's a really really trustworthy setup and I love um, that it's you know nice and economical I have quite a few of them laid around now my receiver is a sketchy um, knockoff spectrum AR6210 uh, I don't really care though it's a park flyer you know a little small airplane so it does take a crash really well um, however I'm not gonna be flying it as far out as I might with these bigger planes uh, so thankfully I don't think there's gonna be that much of a problem this is the one that browned out with the FT Aero, um, but thankfully I did do some uh updates to it I went ahead and put some new receiver antennas on there and went ahead and resoldered my satellite cable uh, so I think we should be good to go I, I did some light testing on it last time I was at the park and I think you know it'll be fine for this build now for my servos um, if you guys watch the Hobby King unboxing video uh, you know that I bought four uh, 3.7 gram uh, servos turnages uh, for this build in particular however I tested them and only three of them work so Unfortunately, Hobby King customer support needs to step up their game a little bit. That's okay. They're only a few bucks, um, but I went ahead and ordered some more. Um, so I got 4.4 grams this time. We've got a 4.4 gram elevator servo right here, um, and that's just because obviously uh, the elevator is a little bit more of an important control surface, controls your altitude. Um, even if everything else goes out, this is going to control whether you smash into the ground or not. So that's why this is a little bit more beefed up, but everything else is a 3.7 gram, and I am running a Y uh, splitter on the uh, aileron servos right here. I normally don't do that. I use the Liberty uh, to use mixing because I have a computerized radio and that makes it so that I can sub trim and get everything just perfect. But because the leads on these are so short and I don't really want to have a bunch of servo extensions um, all over the fuselage of this airplane, I'm just going to go ahead and use a Y harness on this one. Now my props, I've got two right here, but in reality I do have a lot more options. I'm going to be using uh, the Gemfan 5152 um, for the beginning at least. I tried it out on the Scout and it flies really, really good. Um, so I'm going to start off with that. I hope it's nice and smooth just like it is over on the Scout. But we also can go up to the uh, Tri-Blade um, 6x4.5 prop uh, from HQ right here as well. Um, this is one I'm running on the Arrow, the Vector, and a few other mini planes that I have over there and I really like it because it does provide a lot of good torque, you know, responsive throttle as well as obviously that top end is really nice. Now my, for my batteries, we also do have a lot of options here. I've got some two cell 850s that I've been running in the Scout recently. I'm probably not going to use these but they are an option just for putting around in the backyard or smaller spaces. As well as I have the 3 cell 850s, same thing, these are 50Cs just like those. Um, this is probably going to be the main flight pack I use um, just because they are a little bit more narrow. But if I want to get some 60C top end power, um, I have these 700s. However, like I said, these are a little bit wider. They're slim packs from Turnigy, uh, so they probably won't fit in the fuselage as well um, as the 850s. I think we're going to start off with the 850s and see what we need to do from there. But again, but the point I'm trying to make is that I have a lot of uh, batteries at my disposal so we can kind of mix and match and see what works best after we get this thing up and flying. So with that said, I think it's time to go ahead and get into the build. Not much much else to do here of course I mean we're just gonna get this thing done should be able to knock it out tonight maybe a little bit into tomorrow morning um, and then I'll reconvene with you guys and we can talk about how it built
All right, guys, but so just finished the build for the FT Mini Mustang. It is the next day, and being a smaller uh, four-channel build, this did take a little bit longer than some other minis. Um, there obviously is a little bit more wiring to do, as well as just the nature of the Mustang has you negotiating this wing through a very tiny little slot in the fuselage where you can easily break the, the um, bottom little piece right here off. Uh, so I took my time, I did it right, and it is about 10 o'clock the next morning. I worked from like eight till midnight and then from eight till 10 here, getting it all finished up. I think it's a pretty easy build to do, so I'm really happy with the end result. Another nice thing about these minis is that they're super rigid, especially when you're using the foam board. They're even more rigid than the larger planes. Um, and I really like these a bit, a more than the, uh, like that. Horizon Hobby UMX series that you see back there with the Champ and the Sport Cub S. Just because they're heavier, they penetrate a little bit better, as well as they have more power with the brushless motors. So yeah, I'm really reminded of that when I am building this thing. It just feels so solid, and I can't wait to get it up in the air. If it flies anything like the larger P51 Mustang, uh, then you know I'm sold on it. And obviously, it's going to be a little bit faster, less drag, and a larger a KV motor. So I'm really happy for that. In terms of my build notes, there's one main difference between the build process between uh, you know the larger and the smaller Mustangs here and that is the hatch you can see this one flips open just like that Normally, there's a barbecue screw that you drive through there and this is completely removable However, I put it on the hinge and I really like how that looks um, and it kind of just friction fits on there And you put some tape on the other side and you're good to go I mean, it's a really really nice uh, design on here And the main thing about that is that I have access to my motor my ESC my battery my um, receiver and my servos even um, on here and that's just such a nice feature um, to have I have a lot of room to shift my battery all around here probably even add another battery in parallel if I really wanted to make this a heavy uh, wind, wind you know fearing uh, build here as well as more power more flight time stuff like that that will come with more battery um, but I'm really happy with that that's definitely my favorite feature on this plane uh, previously in the old Mustang you see you just you know pull out that and now you have a hatch that opens up you can get to your battery but my receiver is all the way back like right here in the fuselage and there's no way I'm ever going to get to that ever again. So if I ever build the P51 Mustang, uh, the larger one ever again, I'm definitely going to try to implement the hatch system uh, that was found in the mini one back into that thing. So yeah, other than that, there's not much to say about the build. They're pretty much uh, the same, you know, plane, of course, with the looks. The wing is pretty much the same. Uh, servo mounting is a little bit different. You have to kind of cut out a recess for the servos to fit through because they're a little thicker than the spar. Um, on the tail, tail section goes pretty much the same as well. There's a little barbecue skewer a joint on the elevator, which is nice uh, so you don't get any of that flex. That even on the Mustang, I have there. Um, my servo mounting, I did do it a little bit different than you're supposed to with the plans, um, but this is nice. It's actually the same exact method that's used on the larger Mustang here, uh, where you kind of mount it on the inside wall and have the arms stick through. Um, that keeps it nice and flush and looking good. However, you can still access uh, the servo arms very nicely. Let's do some control. Uh, testing right here. First off, uh, let's just test the throttle. It's really, really powerful on here, but it's nice and quiet with that 5152 prop on there from Gemfan. Has a lot of thrust, should be pretty fast on the three cell battery. Um, we've got our ailerons right here as well. Um, I think I got my throws where I want them, but um, I can't wait to get this thing up in the air and see how it responds with the ailerons because I know when I flew the Scout, um, it was just dying for some ailerons on the mini version. Um, but we also, of course, have the elevator and we have the rudder on there as well. So this is a four, full four channel uh, build where normally I would go for a banking yank, but I really like how the rudder performs on the larger Mustang. You can do a lot of more uh, like aerobatics and you know 3D even maneuvers um, on there. So we're gonna see how that works on the FT Mini Mustang right there. That's pretty much it for the controls, the build notes, um, the initial thoughts, stuff like that. I am gonna be filming a maiden video with this, of course, as I normally do, um, but unfortunately it's pouring rain today, so it might be something that takes place tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. Um, if you guys are watching this from the forums, I will post that in the thread uh, down below. So yeah, thanks for watching. Please go ahead and tell me what I should build next. Uh, any video ideas, I am accepting those in the comments below. Like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this every single day, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.